Hey guys, this is me, Rickasa46. And I'm here with... Oh, I was going to refer to it as an experiment, but it's a mock, dang it. Um, this would be the Battle of Sicily. Well, I mean, the Sicily camp... Is it even considered its own campaign? Well, the invasion of Sicily actually had multiple battles. Um... I mean, really, this could be anywhere in Italy, to be honest. I just imagine this being in Sicily, because that's how the cities are structured. Um, albeit, as far as I know, there are no major rivers in Sicily. I probably really should have thought this out before recording it. But, I'm sure I'll come up with a name by the time I upload it. Anyway, this was mainly just an experiment on me building cityscapes. My main reason why these buildings don't really have roofs is because, for some reason, I can't find these pieces. I could have sworn I had a ton of them. I mean, I have one on that little... I don't remember what it's called. I built it on a live stream once. It took me 30 minutes to do it. I don't know why. Don't ask. Um, that's a bit off topic. But anyways, um, this takes place in 1943. The Allies had just kicked the Axis out of North Africa. And they've been wanting to start a new front in Europe. So they invade Sicily, and I forget the month. Oh, that's just embarrassing. But uh, Stalin wanted the Allies to open up new fronts against the Germans. And of course, the result of that, as we know it, is D-Day. But... Before that, the British were arguing for operations in Africa and then an assault on Italy. I mean, originally it was going to be in either the British way or the American way, evade Italy or invade France, but they decided on both. So the reason why there are Germans fighting in Italy is because, well, I mean, at this point the Italian army was... Kind of really stretched thin after El Alamein and the entirety of the Africa campaign. It's kind of in shambles. So the Germans sent reinforcements. That's why whenever in the movies um, you usually see Fallschirmjägers or really just Germans fighting the British and the Americans more so than actual Italian troops. I believe it's also around this point where the Allies re well, where they invade Greece. Although I could be wrong. Anyways, it's enough about me talking about the history. I'm pretty sure if you guys wanted a history class, you would have actually taken one. And then again, I just gave one to you. So, you're welcome. Now give me your tuition. So, I wanted to put walls on these. I actually did get to building some, but they just looked sort of uncanny. I don't know if you guys know what that means, but... It just looks wrong. <laughs> That's the best way to explain it. Well, to be honest, I'm really liking the sort of crowded way. I mean, I wish this platform wasn't... Like, this is a 16 by 16. Um, it's not a base plate. I built it myself. Um, but this is a 16 by 16 platform. Um, so... I mean... It's decently sized, but when you're trying to do something like a city, it really doesn't give you very many options. I did experiment with slanted roofs. Um, cities in Italy... Oh, I did not mean to do that. Cities in Italy were sort of clustered like this. Uh, most of the time, um, close quarters fighting like this is the only option, because where it isn't... Like, there were planes in Italy, don't get me wrong, but... Most of the time, they would be fighting in mountainous terrain, um, or in the cities, really. They're fighting tooth and nail most of the time. There's just this one plank here. I don't even know why. And I also did the standard, just pour blue studs into there. I've been spending the past two months trying to get all my blue studs back. It's an old technique. I don't even know if you'd call it that. But, I've got my good old British up here. I, if you guys haven't seen the last video, I got 
my is he even a sergeant he was advertised as a soldier okay but i got him a vest um they haven't sold those in i believe it was over a year um so i snatched one of those up as soon as i could and you've got some fighting on the rooftops since you know close quarters fighting is hard the best way to get an advantage is to fight from rooftops but i guess the germans have the same idea but anyways that's pretty much the entire build i honestly say this is one of my favorite things i've ever had the pleasure of building and, you know got to test out a lot of things that i wanted to do and i think it turned out just fine probably get some really good cinematic shots with it if i put a base plate in the background Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, please, well, if you want to see me do more of my stuff, then rate, comment, and subscribe. It gets more people to notice my channel. Um, and I honestly hope to see you guys later. I don't know the next time I'll be posting. I was originally going to be doing a live stream today. Um, as I'm recording this, it's Monday um, the 25th. Um... Actually, comment down below if you want me to do live streams on Monday, since that's really the only time when I can do them. Anyway, I hope to see you guys later. Bye-bye.